Dunhill Namiki Kingfisher released in 2008 25 pieces. Dunhill Namiki Turtle released in 2010 25 pieces. Dunhill Namiki Yoshitsune released in 2019 15 pieces. Are you ready to discover these jewels with me? Hey guys fellas, I'm Samuel Naldi and we are at Borden House today. In episode 1, we discovered the full story behind Dunhill Namiki, the Kokokai group and the history of the Dunhill Namiki Union. If you've missed this, check out the link that will appear on top here, go watch it and come back again. And let's start by understanding together with Zayn Kamal, why do we have the chance to discover these incredible pieces together. I thought they were long sold out already. So Zaim, we're almost ready to unveil these three incredible Dunhill Namiki fountain pens, grade A Maquille pens. Why do we have the incredible chance of having these writing instruments here at Burden House? Three pieces that we thought were completely sold out. It is incredible and I'm as surprised as you were. So when I started at Dunhill, one of the first things I did was I dived into the archive. And the archives that Dunhill has is incredible, from lighters mm -hmm. to accessories, and of course there's loads of pens. Mm -hmm. And during this research, one part that I looked into was Namiki and the, this close collaboration between Namiki and this relationship they have. And during this research, it turned out that in the beginning of the 2000s, there were re-editions of Namiki pens and they were sent out into the world and they were part of a drive to reconnect with the past. But it turned out that there are few pens still left in the market. They were hidden, they were mysteriously be found and we tracked them down. We thought, let's bring them back. Let's give them back the glory of being in their stately home, so to speak, in Mayfair. We want to represent them and re-show them to the customers and to people who are interested to highlight that there are still these pens to be had. So I am very happy to get somebody to understand, like you, to understand what we're trying to do with it because there is a future of writing at Dunhill as well. We need to rethink and we need to rework and understand how it fits into the universe of Dunhill today. And to get somebody like you to come and say, guys, yes, there is definitely a space for a Dunhill pen. I'm very happy that you're here and you, you've taken the opportunity to work with this and do it. Zayam, it's a great honor for me and I know that under the creative guidance of your brain, your creative brain, uh, Dunhill is going to have a great future in writing instruments and then we all cannot wait for that. I'm looking forward to the reactions. <laughs> Thank you so much Zayam. Thank you and enjoy. So good fellas, it's time already to discover each single piece and let's do it chronologically. We're going to start with the incredible Dunhill Namiki Kingfisher. And an edition released back in 2008, three years after the earlier release being the Dunhill Namiki that celebrated 75 years of union between Dunhill and Namiki. A piece that is now almost impossible to find if not at prices that are above $150,000. The Dunhill Namiki Kingfisher is presented in an elegant and Japanese-like packaging, containing a box that is decorated with six layers of lacquering, with the Alfred Dunhill logo on top of it. The pen resides in an elegant and smooth suede line holder, with next to it a leather pen pouch and obviously all official certificates, papers and a pipette to fill up this emperor-sized fountain pen. The beautiful design of the Kingfisher is inspired by ancient Japanese haiku poems, which are three-line poems that often focus on images from nature, and it shows the parade of love between the male bird who fishes for the female while she waits for his return. The pink nade shiko flower portrayed on the pen is a summer flower that blossoms during the Kingfisher's courtship. The Dunhill Namiki Kingfisher is a limited edition of 25 fountain pens worldwide. And it is, as you can see, an emperor-sized fountain pen, with the base being in ebonite and with a yellow gold ring on the bottom part of the cap. 
The Kingfisher was designed by master maquillé artist of the Kokokai group, Seiki Shida. The making of such an artwork takes at least six months to produce just one fountain pen, which is also proven by the fact that the additions from 2005, 2008, and 2010 were all made by a different artist. Now, it's also important to know that a master maquillé artist spends up to 30 years on grade B and grade C artwork before becoming skilled artists able to produce a grade A piece required by Dunhill, just like the Kingfisher. This piece is exquisitely ornamented in raised Taka Maquillé and burnished Togitashi Maquillé with copious gold dust and Aogai, the most precise form of mother of pearl inlay. The cap depicts a female Kingfisher perched by a river amongst Nadeshiko blossoms, while the barrel features a brightly plumbed male kingfisher presenting his catch. The river eddies and swirls with marvelous fluidity and grace. The birds and blossoms are rendered with unrivaled skill by Makie master Seiki Shida. Let's take some moments to just admire the details of this incredible work of art. The fountain pen is finalized with the wonderful and famous Emperor 18 karat gold nib created and embossed especially for this piece. You can see that there is the embossing of the Nadeshiko flower and the feed as usual is also in black urushi. What can one say in front of so much beauty made by a human hand? Doesn't it just take our breath away? And this takes us automatically to the next piece, the incredible Dunhill Namiki Turtle, which was launched in 2010. The 2010 Dunhill Namiki Turtle comes in a similar box like the Kingfisher. Black lacquered with the pen elegantly laying in a sweat holder and the leather pen pouch next to it, with all necessary papers and tools needed for this edition. The turtle tells the tale of a kind fisherman named Urashima Taro, who saves a turtle from being mistreated. In gratitude, the turtle takes him to the underwater dragon palace, where he meets the beautiful princess Otohime. After spending what feels like a few days in the palace, Taro decides to return home. And as a parting gift, the princess gives him a box and tells him that he will have happiness as long as he never opens it. So Urashima returns to the surface with the turtle, but to his dismay, discovers that many years have passed. The village is different, and his parents are long dead. In this loneliness and despair, he opens the box and suddenly turns into an old man. This box that he was told not to open contained his old age. And also the Dunhill Namiki Turtle is a limited edition of 25 fountain pens. Also emperor size with the base in ebonite and with a yellow gold ring on the bottom part of the cap. This edition of 25 pieces was produced by Makie master Michifumi Kawaguchi. That is one of the artists part of the Kokokai group of Namiki, of course. The kind of Makie used is a variety of challenging techniques, including highly raised Shishiai Togitashi Makie, Taka Makie, Kerikane Gold Leaf Ornamentation, and Raiden Mother of Pearl Nail Lace. Also, this edition takes at least six months for each piece to be made. The cap features a large turtle ornamented in abundant gold dust maquillé, swimming in a sea of shimmering raiden with a nearby school of tiny gold dust fish. The barrel features two yellow fish swimming among coral, with a small turtle emerging from the concealment of the seafloor. On the top of the cap, you will find another wonderful depiction of the turtle. And on the bottom of the pen, the maquillé painted Dunhill logo and the number of the piece. Let's just take some more time to admire this incredible work of art. The 
barrel between a coral and a rock, you will find the signature of Makie master Michifumi Kawabushi. Of course, it is embellished with an emperor-sized 18 karat gold nib, with an embossing of corals and obviously also the logo, and an heart-shaped breathing hole and black lacquered urushi feet. The third piece that I'm showing you is one of the most incredible pieces I've ever seen. And it is the last ever made by Dunhill with Namiki back in 2019. The 2019 Dunhill Namiki Yoshitsune takes its inspiration by one of the greatest fighters in Japanese history. This story is based on Yoshitsune's heroic win at Battle of Ishinotani. In 1184, during the Genpei War, the young and brilliant samurai Minamoto no Yoshitsune led a daring surprise attack against the Taira clan's stronghold at Ishinotani. By leading his troops down a steep and treacherous cliff, Yoshitsune caught the Taira forces off guard, securing a decisive victory. This battle showcased Yoshitsune's strategic genius and bravery, cementing his place as a celebrated warrior in Japanese lore. This edition is a piece that celebrates bravery, courage, strategic thinking, all extremely important skills also in today's world. Now, the Yoshitsune is limited to only 15 pieces worldwide and was released nine years after their last Dunhill Namiki edition, the turtle which we have just seen. And like the Kingfisher, the Yoshitsune was created by master Makie artist Seiki Shida using Aka Makie and burnished Togitashi Makie with gold dust and augai. The cap of the pen is full of incredible details that one could spend a whole day admiring it and discovering new things. It depicts the hills above Ichi no Tani, with samurais running down the cliff to surprise the Taira forces. What is impressive is that on the foot of the cliff, you will discover the ocean and by turning it under the light with the shimmering of the mother of pearl and the abalone, it really looks like the water is moving. On the barrel, we find an intricate drawing of Yoshitsune and one of his soldiers arriving at the base of the cliff. It's needless to say that also this piece is fitted with a wonderful, especially made emperor size 18 karat Dunhill Namiki nib with the typical black lacquered feet and a breathing hole that has the shape of a heart. And for the third time, a little time of appreciation is needed to understand and appreciate such an A-grade work of art of Master Seiki Shida. Well, good fellows, I would love to know from you what you felt when you've seen this incredible writing instrument. Let me know down in the comments. And I have an incredible news for you, good fellows. There is a very small amount of pieces available. If you might be interested in one of the pieces, you can send a message directly to me via the email address that you'll find in the link in the description. And we are going to allocate these last pieces on a first come first served basis. There is one Kingfisher available from Dunhill at $68,500, two Turtle at $68,500, and 12 out of the 15 Yoshitsune at also $68,500 each piece. And the reason why there are still 12 out of the 15 Yoshitsune still available is very easy. The model was never actually promoted and released properly. So yes, they finished the writing instrument, they released them, but they only offered it to like three, four customers. Three out of them decided to take one and the other ones just ended back in the archive. And so this is the first time we're actually shedding light onto this incredible 
Yoshitsune Dunhill Namiki Edition. It is an incredible opportunity to own such a valuable and limited edition from Dunhill Namiki. A chance that happens once in a lifetime and to be completely honest, I have goosebumps. The relevance and the importance of these pieces I have here in front of me is just insane. Good luck to those of you who will try their luck with one of these three editions. And don't forget that together we are changing the game.